हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड इट्स द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ बाई वीकली कॉन्ट्रेस्ट विच हैपन टुडे एंड आई एज आई सेट दैट इट वाज प्रीटी इजी इट्स जस्ट द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन्वॉल्व अ लेजी प्रोपोगेशन ऑन सेगमेंट रेस विच वाज बिट ट्रिकी टू इंप्लीमेंट बट या लेट्स सी दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज मिनिमम स्कोर बाई चेंजिंग टू एलिमेंट्स सो द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट वी आर गिवन एज यून एक्स आर ए नम्स ओके द लो स्कोर द टर्म लो स्कोर इज डिफाइंड एज मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ नम्स आई माइनस नम्स ऑफ जे वेयर आई एंड जे आर टू इंडेक्सेज ऑफ दिस आर ए एंड इट शुड बी इन द बाउंड ऑफ द आर ए कूल हाई स्कोर ऑफ नम्स इज डिफाइंड एज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ नम्स आई माइनस नम जे वेयर बोथ ऑफ दम नीड्स टू बी इन द आर ए एंड ऑल्सो इट शुड नॉट ओवरलैप विच मीन्स दैट आई एंड जे आर टू different indexes and it should be this in the bounds of the array cool uh, the score the score is defined such as it is the sum of high and low what we calculated above cool now what we have to do is that we have to return we have to minimize this nums which means that indirectly we have to minimize nums highs and lows which means that i have to minimize this high and low i have to minimize nums so i have to minimize high and low cool which which means i have to minimize these two things cool and what i can do to minimize this that i can just change the value of at most two elements so for sure i will always try to change both the elements at most two right cool what i have to tell is that i have to find the minimum possible score after changing at most two elements of the array which means that i have to minimize this which means i have to minimize this high and the low which means that i have to minimize this high and the low so and the constraint is that simple i have this nums array which is 1e5 and the value of nums of i it can be 1e9 now my main constraint or my main concern is what my main concern is these two things which means that my uh, low score is nums of i minus nums of j which is the minimum one and the high it is the maximum one of nums of i minus nums of j now let's see this example so if we have this array right and if we want to find out what is the minimum which is what is the low score for low score i have to find the minimum difference between two elements of this array which means minimum difference of two elements of this array right for that what and for high score is what i have to find the maximum difference between two elements of this array agree on that part now to find let's say to find the maximum difference between two element of the of this array it will always be the difference between the maximum element of this array minus the minimum element of this array agree see if i want to find the high score which is the maximum difference between any two elements of this array so i can always choose the first which means the lowest minimum element of this array and the maximum element of this array and i will if i will subtract them i'll always get a high value which can't be obtained either way so one thing i got to know from my mind that okay how i can get a high value for to get the low value which means that how can i get a low value out of these array if you want to get the low value what you can do is that you can always try to find the difference between two element that are adjacent which means that if i have this array so i will if i will always try to find the difference between the adjacent elements why adjacent i will always try to find the difference between these 4 and 5 1 and 4 5 and 7 and 7 and 8 it will always give me the minimum which means that if the 5 is involved so as to get the minimum difference possible it should always be in pair with either 4 or 7 why not 5 why not 1 or 8 it's because it's beyond 4 right it's beyond 7 right so it it has no point it will always go beyond my limit of 7 so it will always go larger and larger so as to get the minimum minimum for two elements i'll always choose the pair of two adjacent elements when it is sorted so one thing i got for sure that okay to get the maximum element which means the maximum difference i can choose these two elements 
pretty fine to get the minimum difference i can choose this or this or this or this right pretty cool now what i can do see i have the option to remove two elements from this array or replace those two elements to any other element and i am also said that the array has three elements so if i just want to replace i will just replace by the one element right so it's always good to replace both the elements now how one thing i can think of is that okay if, if i have this array i can just take these two elements because see is it it was it was helping to get the high score right it was getting it was helping us to get the high score so i can just take these two elements and i can just make them to one element let's say any element let's say name, name it as x for now now what will happen is these two will go off x will come in the picture now as x and x both these element come so the minimum difference which means low will become zero because now i just removed two elements and i made them same now two elements are same which means that minimum difference of two elements of this array will always be zero so i can always choose two elements make them same to make my low as always zero understand good now to minimize our high what we can do is just okay how was our high made our high was made because of having the first or the last element of the sorted array which means taking the minimum and the maximum element so just remove both of them why not why not remove both of them and make it to any element let's say five in this array which will always come in the middle or in the between and because of this low will always get high sorry low is low will always got zero and now our high would become what this seven minus four which is three so i can easily say my high has been reduced from eight minus one which was seven but 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 have you thought okay what if it was something like this 150 999 and 1000 then if you have removed this and this which means you have removed this and this now what would have been your difference 999 minus 50 do you think it is actually important no just take these two out isn't it that you got your answer now your minimum will be just two voila so one option we thought okay we can remove the first and the last element now we thought okay we can remove the first and the second element let's see more okay um how about this if we would have removed this first and the last then we would got 898 okay good if we would have removed our first and the second we would got 997 okay which is worse what if i had removed last two elements then i would have easily got a two surprising right so now we saw that okay we can remove the first in the last first in the second element first in the last element and also second and the second sorry second last in the last element now you will say rn as if like it will go on for forever no it will not go on for forever let's say if this is the case which means that I have a very, very, very long number. If, if you don't choose the first or the last element and choose any other element to remove, then maybe you remove this or maybe this. Let's say any. But you did not choose the first and the last element to remove. Then our high will always be right. 1000 minus 1. So I high will always be this first and the last element. So it is for sure, one thing for sure, that when I am about to remove or change, when I say remove or change, I need to do with taking first or the last element. So either I can change both the first and the last, or I can change first and the second, considering I have to change the first or the last. As here I change the last. So what's the best case to change? the second last i change this for this first to change the best case was to change the second i change this to change this first the best case was to change this last so only these three options will be there to get your value as 
high as minimum. So it says that you can easily see that firstly I sorted my array, then I took the minimum of first condition is last minus second last last. So basically, if I remove here, see, see here I removed my first element and the second element, which is index zero, index one. Here I removed my first and the last element, which is index zero and index n minus one. Here I removed two indexes, which is n minus one and n. So with this, what result, which is, which is the high value, it is the high value, right? It is the high value. It is the high value, which I will obtain. And it is the answer. Why it is the answer? Because low will always be zero. So yeah, it is from my side. I hope that you guys like the video. And if yes, then please hit the like button. It gives the motivation. So here's the next video. Until then, bye-bye.